Colleges in Central Texas are wary about students returning from spring break. The concern is it could lead to increased transmission at a time when hospitalization rates are declining. KXAN's Alex Capriello shows us what they are asking students to do when they return to campus. By now, you've probably seen the video. Maskless spring breakers partying it up on South Padre Island. That's the type of close contact local health leaders fear. Those individuals who travel for spring break, who engaged in activities uh, where, where social distancing and masking weren't adhered to, it's important for them to quarantine themselves next week. Austin Public Health data shows the 10 to 19 age group, which would include college underclassmen, has had the highest positivity rate in four of the last five weeks. But University of Texas students I spoke to say kids on campus have become a lot more COVID conscious. Frankly, actually, most people just stayed here in Austin, uh, mo the most of the majority of people I know. This junior told me his friends who left the city traveled by car, not plane. UT officials warned students against that too, asking those who road tripped to wear a mask and ride with the windows down. Both UT and Texas State are encouraging everyone to self-quarantine when they get back. St. Edwards dropped spring break altogether and instead are giving students what they call wellness days later this semester. This student hopes his friends get a swab before they return to class. That's free for all UT students and hopefully the students take that to their advantage where you know, you can just do it real quick. It takes five minutes. You get it tested. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. UT Austin also incentivized students to stay here instead of taking a traditional vacation. The university called it spring break on the 40 acres. All week long, UT set up live music performances and offered free food to students.